Bratchtail. I am a senior here at Keene State, and I have done a project on the isolation of Pseudomonas sexually. So the cool thing about my project is when I started out, I had this whole idea that I was going to isolate lactobacillus, which is a lactic acid bacteria. So I picked four different spots on my body and I swabbed them, my neck, my forehead, my lower back, and my arms. So after that, I grew it on trypixoy um, auger and I got this growth. So I ended up by picking the plate that had the most marginalized colonies. They were easy to see, easy to distinguish. And from there, I subcultured them to get the purest form of my microbe. What's cool about the colony and the morphology of mine is they're smooth on the edge, but they're kind of ridged, like, like a piece of broccoli. But they look dried out even though they're the next day subculture. So from there, I took that and I wanted to run a test to see if it was a gram-negative bacteria or a gram-positive bacteria. After which, I was able to identify that it is a gram-negative bacteria. From there, we went on to run an antibiotic resistant test where we tested five different antibodies to see if it was resistant or <clears throat> susceptible. None of mine were resistant. They were all susceptible, which after re identifying what mine was, made sense. So from there, we isolated our DNA and sent it out to the Hubbard Genome Center at UNH where Devin and Jordan sequenced everything and sent it back to us. So now we jump into the computer part of this entire project. So we ran Trimatics on it, which is a se technical sequence that sequences the ends, um, the ends that are like lab added on. And then from there, we assembled the short sequences, reads into longer fragments, which are known as contigs. And this was used, um, this was done using a program called SPACE. And then from there, we annotated um, the identified genes. And this was done using a program called PROCA. And from there, in the PROCA file, we went into our FNA file, which is a nucleotide file and we mined out, we call it GREP, but we mined out the 16S gene and then went over to our NCBI website and used a program that they have called BLAST. And this is where it's gonna tell us what our actual microbe is, even though we thought we were getting something else. So when I did that, I didn't get 100% similarities on any of mine. The highest one I got was 98%. So I'm thinking I'm gonna get lactobacillus and I actually get Pseudomonas eschewi. I've never heard of it. It sounds like the sauce in Rick and Morty. I have no idea what it is. So from there, <clears throat> I do some more research and I'm able to get a reference strand from the NCBI. Only one strand I was able to find. So from there, I ran this program called QUAST, which basically just checks the quality of my strand and the reference strand together. And I was able to find the GC content and the contigs length. And you can see here that they're actually pretty similar. Even though mine goes a little bit higher than the reference strand, it still shows that what I got is Pseudomonas zeshui. So from there, I was able to run um, a program called Blurry. And what this does is it compares everything. And I took the reference strand, my strand, and a Pseudomonas Latoya strand. And what that is, is in one of the papers I was reading, it's a strand that's similar to that in gen genetic similarities. Took all that and I took my files that I got from using Rory and I put it in a program called Fandango. And from there, it was able to give me a phylogenetic tree comparing all three of my strands. And as you can see here, in the blue, it shows where all the areas of the genes are matched between the strand genes and the core genomes. And this is the reference strain and this is mine. So you can see it has a lot of similarities, but they all break up right here in the middle, but meet up again. So this was a really fun activity for me because after talking to some professors, we could only find documented cases in China. None in New Hampshire, North America, South America, Europe, nothing. And I can looked into the papers and where it was isolated from, and it was isolated in China by the same group in agriculture soil that was sprayed with fomasapin, which is a degradation herbicide. And I can honestly tell you that I have not been royal, like rolling around in soil in the middle of January in Keene, New Hampshire. But 
but nonetheless, I found it on my body. Um, I think that I could have picked it up at the gym, um, walking outside, but it had my coat on, but it just shows that it can move through the airs. So really, this bacteria has absolutely no borders. It can just go wherever I wherever you want, which I think is kind of cool.